Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 9 of my uh, Kerbal Space Program 0.22 career mode playthrough. In this episode uh, we're going to continue on from where we left off in the last one and we're on Minmus at the moment so uh, hopefully we'll be able to return home safely. So now I'm just going to EVA Jebediah and uh, plant a flag first of all and then take some samples of the surface. So uh, you can see we're on very low gravity here. And it's sort of a good thing and sort of a bad thing about Minmus. It means that it is very easy to land on and take off from, but it does also mean that uh, you have, you know, it's kind of slow to run about, and you have to be kind of careful. So this is our second Minmus landing, and I won't bother with the plaque text for now. And here we are. So we're on Minmus. Let's take a surface sample. And it says the surface seems to consist of... Oh yeah, we've got more about the uh, edibility, if that's a word, of the surface. So let's go up and do a normal crew report as well. Let's see, so let's get a crew report from here. And there uh, you record the... And let's actually transmit that because we may as well. And there's a nice thing opening and you can see there yeah we don't have much electricity left but we do have solar panels so it's not too big a deal um, and yeah we are generating some electricity from those uh, so now we can observe some mystery goo and uh, let's see what it says oh, it just says you observe the goo nothing too interesting there we'll also observe this one although we may end up transmitting one of these but I'd not, I don't want to just transmit tons and tons of data back Anyway, let's have a look at this. So that's scientific value of 125. That's quite a lot. And uh, yep, there we go. So that's it for this landing site. Let's have a look at the map and see where we could actually go to land on the icy sort of seas of Minmus. So there is some icy seas over here. And if I... There we go, the nearest ones are definitely towards the west. So, we're just going to very gently pick up our speed and burn... Well, I guess we need to burn west, don't we? So, let's burn that way. And we need to burn a bit south of west as well if we want to land in these seas here. So, let's do that. And there we are. So, looks like we'll be able to land in those nice minty seas, as the Kerbals call them. Actually, we need to go a little bit more north, I think, to try and land in the middle of those mint seas. And that should do. We should be okay to go there. So now, we can actually just uh, time warp a little bit and watch as our craft flies up into the air and comes back down again, hopefully over there somewhere. And again, this um, now we should be in daytime when we land, which is nice. And actually, yes, before we come down, I'm going to, because we should have some electric charge now, I'm going to review the data in one of the goo tanks and uh, transmit that data. And then I'm also going to observe the mystery goo again. Um, while in space near Minmus, and we're going to yeah, that's not worth that much, so we're going to discard that data. I'll wait till we land on Minmus again. So, now all that we have to do is uh, time warp a little bit more. And you can see we're coming down quite uh, far this way, if that makes sense. <laughs> quite far to the, this side of the seas. So I'm going to get rid of that horizontal velocity that I don't really want. And go to surface view again because it is the surface that's important we're landing on the surface and there we go so now we're falling pretty much straight down at around 50 meters a second and we can just wait till we get uh, a thousand meters or so up from the surface before we actually uh, start slowing ourselves down because this is sea level here or it should be anyway theoretically And it looks like we're coming down reasonably well. Uh, I'm just going to start slow myself down a little bit, but uh, it's not really that big a deal. We can get rid of 80 meters a second of velocity in a few seconds, really, at full throttle. So it's not anything to worry about at all. 
and you can see our shadow there so once we can really start to see our shadow then that means we need to start slowing ourselves down a bit more and everything's looking good now just making our final approach down to land and I think um, I think we'll actually be able to fit this all into one episode so that's pretty good uh, we're just gonna take a few samples from here I think and then uh, head back home so as you can see it looks like we're okay I'm just trying to get rid of that horizontal velocity that we do appear to have picked up. Uh, it's only a few meters a second though, and there we go. A very nice soft landing again, and now we can observe the next mystery goo container. Um, and it says you observe the goo. I guess we'll have to keep that data, it's not worth that much apparently, but uh, let's get out again and have a look at the ocean. So, come on Jeb. Let's go. Looks like he's enjoying himself though. There you go, you can see his very very happy Kerbal face. And uh, there we go, let's do an EVA report first of all. And there we go, so that's not really worth that much but we'll keep it anyway and we'll plant another flag. And uh, this is the first landing on the seas of Minmus. So now all we have to do is take another uh, surface sample and uh, the surface seems to consist of tiny crystal like grains. Very pretty but probably not edible and I think we've had that one before as well. Uh, I believe that it's only the moon and Kerbin that actually have full biome support so far. Uh, Minmus doesn't but it doesn't matter. We have now gathered a lot of information and uh, it says we can't uh, yeah, we can't board with those experiments on because there isn't full biome support and we've got things that are from the same biome because the whole of Minmus is one biome. So we're going to have to dump those experiments, unfortunately. But I guess we have got some reasonably useful data anyway and uh, we may as well, I guess, reset one of these goo canisters because it's not worth as much. And then we'll activate it again when we're in sort of uh, Minmus orbit or orbit around Kerbin or something when it's probably worth a little bit more. So now we can just take off again and head towards the 90 because we need to get into, I think, an easterly orbit. And actually, I think we need to just take off. Uh, yeah, we probably want to go sort of this direction uh, because essentially Minmus is going around Kerbin this way. So we need to try and get out of Minmus's orbit as far this way as possible. So we're going to try and burn essentially horizontally in that direction. Uh, but that isn't the best Kerbin Parapsis, although we are decreasing it by burning more. And it looks like actually we'll get a escape trajectory from that burn which isn't too good is it so I guess what I'm gonna have to do from here is time warp until we get out of Minmus's sphere of influence or until we get close to there because I actually would like to check on one of those goo canisters uh, so let's have a look at that first of all let's see what that says and yep that's worth a bit more science than the thing that we had before and now I think we can uh, time warp out of this sphere of influence and now we've got quite a long burn to get home anyway uh, I guess we can just see what we can do and hopefully if we can make a maneuver somewhere oh come on Kerbal be nice uh, this isn't going too well is it so this is prograde and Kerbin is that way so we need to burn we need to burn 
about 90 degrees this way so somewhere around there and that should no that's increasing our parapsis so that's not too good um, I guess if we just burn retrograde we'll be okay so I think we'll just do that we still have tons of fuel left and uh, that's just what we have to do we probably should have waited on Minmus though if we wanted to be a bit more efficient about this but unfortunately uh, we didn't so we actually could have got a moon encounter there if we really wanted to we could do a moon flyby and I think we may as well do that to be honest um, we still have a few minutes in this episode so let's do a moon flyby and I think we just have to burn a little bit of prograde to get that and it's quite a high parapsis around the moon but it gives us quite a low parapsis around Kerbin so that's absolutely fine let's do that moon flyby and we're not too worried about keeping the parapsis and apoapsis accurate here as long as it's good enough yep there we go that's absolutely fine and uh, now what we can do is effectively uh, let's transmit some data shall we so this one let's review that data and it's not worth that much so let's uh, transmit that data and then it's running out of electric charge but that's not a big deal we can observe this mystery goo now and there we go so we've got a bit more science from there I guess so now we have to I guess if we slow ourselves down that'll do the trick no that's actually increasing our parapsis um, well you know what I'm just gonna get us out of this orbit and get all the way up to our apoapsis so that we can slow down at and bring our parapsis down which shouldn't take too much fuel and as, as I said we still have way more than enough fuel uh, left on this rocket and that's another moon encounter if we really want it but I don't think I'm gonna bother with that one uh, that said we probably could actually land on the moon with this much fuel but I don't think that's really a mission for today so I am going to decrease this parapsis and hopefully uh, we can get home safely uh, let's have a look where are we gonna land on Kerbin I'm gonna do a quick save now so I'm just going to split off that stage definitely I'm gonna hold this stage in case I need to make any final adjustments but uh, hopefully I won't have to uh, unless it looks like we're gonna come down above the ocean and now actually what I could do is burn a little bit sort of up this way and a little bit retrograde so that we actually make sure we come down above land and that's a few hundred meters a second of delta V but it's not that big a deal if we can't do it so I'll just see what happens I may as well burn it away because it's just extra fuel that we had and uh, I'm actually not gonna do it with the maneuver node I'm just gonna try and do it like this so it should be somewhere around here and you can see our parapsis staying reasonably um, sure-footed I guess and uh, yeah we should be okay I'm actually gonna burn a little bit prograde it might sound stupid but I'd like to come down over the desert really that would be quite nice so I've been sort of half prograde, half south, ah, sorry, half north, then I'll do that. And also if I burn upwards slightly, that'll probably increase my parapsis, won't it? Yep, it will. Because uh, I would like to come down above the desert. We had, I don't think we've explored the desert yet. And I think Jeb would like to be the first Kerbal to explore the desert. But you can see now, we're slowing down a lot. And actually, yeah, it doesn't look like we will make it to the desert. Uh, but we might land in those mountains, which would also be kind of cool, I guess. If we can just burn upwards a little bit to try and keep ourselves going towards those mountains, that would be nice. I don't know whether we will be able to, though. Let's see what we can do. Yep, looks like we're just going to come down above these grasslands here. So we may as well split off that stage and then deploy all of our parachutes. And hopefully, yeah, we'll come down safely. 
And there we go. So now let's recover our vessel and see what we got for our efforts. It looks like we should have quite a good amount of science, 206.9 science. Uh, so we're going to have to look into going to other planets next, really, if we want to keep pushing ourselves through the tech tree. You can see we don't actually have enough to unlock some of these later tree parts yet, or branches. But we will be able to unlock some of the earlier ones um, that might help us a bit to make things like planes. And that's more than good enough for what we need. So I think we'll unlock uh, this one, which has the gear bays, small gear bays. And, uh, ooh, this one looks good. Advanced landing. There we go. Let's, uh, can we unlock that one? Yes, we can. So, that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it, and uh, give it a thumbs up and a favorite if you did. If you have any suggestions or questions, then leave a comment down below. As I said, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.